With a rapidly growing population, Rio de Janeiro faces many different challenges, particularly in providing important services such as health care and water supply for its residents. Let's explore some of these different social challenges and their solutions. The West Zone of Rio de Janeiro embarked on solving healthcare challenges through the introduction of health kits for medical staff. With only 55% of the city having a local clinic in 2013, the elderly and particularly pregnant women were left vulnerable. The health kits allowed staff to access patients who would otherwise find the maze of narrow streets, overcrowded cable cars and distant hospital to be a challenge to their health. Infant mortality has dropped and life expectancy has increased as a result of these health kits. Although education is compulsory for children between 6 and 14, 50% will drop out of school after 14 in Rio. Few nearby schools, a lack of teachers, for whom the pay is very low and training is poor, along with families needing children to work due to low wages, has led to low enrolment in schools. In order to improve educational standards and access, the authorities have asked for volunteers to teach and work in the schools. Grants have been made to poor families to help with school costs, whilst more money has been made available for sports like football, swimming and volleyball in the Rossinha favela, where a private university has also opened. Water supply is critical for life, but 12% of Rio's population had no access to running water, with over 37% of the supply being lost through leaking pipes and illegal tapping of the supply. Drought also hit the area, with abstractions being reduced from the rivers and reservoirs running dry. To improve the water supply, seven new treatment plants opened, with over 300 kilometres of pipes being laid. Over 95% had Maine's water supply by 2014, with both the quality and quantity of water improving in the favelas. Many people in the favelas get their electricity illegally from tapping into the main supply, which is very dangerous indeed. A growing population demanding more energy has led to blackouts frequently affecting the city. To solve this issue, Rio built a new nuclear generator as well as a hydroelectric complex, which alone increased Rio's electricity supply by 30%. They've also installed 60 kilometres of new power lines across the city. Understanding the social challenges facing a city like Rio helps people to plan appropriate solutions so that people can have a better standard of living in the future.